Guys, this is Kevin Cook from KCC Photography and KCCActions.com. Um, I had a lot of requests over the last few days to do a demonstration on how I got um, the look that I got for this photo. Um, I've already made a few adjustments in Lightroom. You'll want to do that first just to kind of get a really good exposure um, and kind of clean up some of these other little things here. I'm just going to actually use um, a spot healing tool just to kind of get rid of some of these little things really quick that are distracting okay um, and you could actually clean all this up I'm going to switch to clone stamping tool here and I'm just going to kind of clean up some of this okay so <clears throat> All I'm going to do is start with All Glory. I'm just going to run it and then we're just going to paint those beautiful, bold autumn colors <clears throat> right into where we want them. On the leaves, around the trees, um, all of this area is going to be kind of covered. So I'm just going to grab a white brush and start painting. And you can see it's changing the colors here. It's going to give it a lot more richness in this area. And we'll fine tune this here in a second. We're just going to go over it really quick. And paint this in. And I'm actually going to add just a little bit more of it, um, just to give it a little bit more depth. So I'm just going to drag this up. And you can see, now we have all those rich fall colors. Um, we could play around with this if we wanted to and do a little bit more with it. Um, but we are going to move on. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is actually run the swirling bokeh. And I'm doing this after the fact because I want to keep it underneath this so I can kind of play around later if I need to. Okay, so this is going to soften it up, as you can see. Um, and I'm just going to come down here to the base with a black brush, and we're just going to erase this off. And this is going to add a little more contrast also in this area. And then we're just going to make our focal line like always. So I'm just going to draw a straight line right here. <clears throat> and that's it. Then we can play with the opacity if we want. I'm going to drag in a couple things now. Um, I'm going to use a warm centered vanilla light. It's actually called centered vanilla light. This is going to look a little bit warmer in this photo because of the tones. So let's just drag this in, just somewhere around there. Um, and then we're going to switch this to screen mode. And I'm actually going to move this up to the top just to make it a little bit brighter and then pull it back down. And then we're going to go back down here and run our light tricks. And you can see Light Tricks is going to bring contrast to the center um, and exclude the background. So it gives you a really nice pop here in the middle for them. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to do really quick is I'm actually going to use the couple, just grab a couple leaves here from the Harvest Leaf Set. Let's see. 
and I'll use these two. So I'm just going to open them. Now I'm just going to drag these right into the photo over here, like this, and hit the Command T button just so I can transform and rotate. And we're just going to shrink this down just a little. Maybe even a little bit more. And then I'm going to just grab a motion blur and run this probably about 17 pixels somewhere around there because of where it is. And we can move this around here in a second. You'll notice I want to keep this underneath because we want it to take on those same colors. Um, the, the, the tones will match up on the leaves if you do this. So the same thing, Command or Control T. <clears throat> and we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to use Gaussian Blur um, just because it's going to we're going to pronounce that it's out of our frame just a little bit more. In the spot here. I mean, you could keep adding them if you wanted to. Um, I'm actually going to add a little bit of motion blur to this one as well. <clears throat> And that is it. So I'll show you the before and the after and you see how quick and easy that was. There's a lot of other things that we could have done. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, just send them to Kevin at KCCPhotography.net. You guys have a great day.